know, people of the internet. So uh, this is my second attempt at filming this video because um, I was filming it bef like a few minutes ago and then my mum texted me to say I had to go and make a cheese toastie <laughs> for my brother because he's got coronavirus and um, my mum doesn't, like, we don't, he can't, don't want him touching anything in the kitchen, so I had to go make him a cheese toasty. Uh, yeah, he's like fine, he's not super ill or anything. Um, he's not like gonna die. Um, yeah, so this video is um, about what I can hear basically. Um, what I can hear um, with nothing, what I can hear with um, hearing aid, and what I can hear with a cochlear implant. Um, for people that don't know. I've had normal hearing for most of my life. Suddenly went deaf six months ago. Turns out that's a thing that can happen. Um, then I got hearing aids um, and then I got a cochlear implant um, and I had it switched on like a week and a bit ago. So I've got a hearing aid in my left ear and um, cochlear implant in my right ear. Um, so, first of all, um, I'll start with what I can hear with nothing. So, um, what I can hear without cochlear implant or um, hearing aid is pretty much nothing. Um, I have a between 90 and 110 decibel hearing loss, depending on the frequency of the sound. So, like, if it's high pitched or low pitched, I can hear different volumes, basically. Um, that means um, that means I can't hear any speech. Um, I can can't hear um, most environmental sounds. Um, the only thing I could hear would be like a gunshot, or if I've heard um, someone like slamming a metal gate right next to me. Um, I've heard that before without um, anything. Um, that sort of thing, like a very loud bang, I might hear it, um, but it has to be really, really loud. Um, yeah, so that's what I can hear without hearing. Oh, also I've kind of got tinnitus, so that's, I can hear a sound, like a whistling or a buzzing, but um, it's not an actual real sound, it's just like, it's created like by your ear, it's not, um, it's not like an actual external sound. Um, yeah, so that's what I can hear. Um, I've got like a graph, so uh, that my um, audiologist very kindly gave me the other day. She like made it for me to so I could like demonstrate. And so with um, with nothing, what I can hear is the bottom line on the on the graph, the one that's like at the bus and aeroplane level. Um, then. Um, what I can hear with um, a hearing aid. So what hearing aids do is, um, I'll take mine out and show you. Basically, they just make sounds louder. Um, so that works really well if you've got a lesser degree of hearing loss. Like if you've got a mild or moderate hearing loss, um, just making sounds a bit louder can help massively. Um, if you've got a more severe or profound hearing loss like I do, it's a bit more limited like what the hearing aids can do because basically even if you make the sound loads louder, you still might not be able to hear it. Um, so how it works is there are microphones at the top here um, that pick up the sound. Um, then, I don't know, something in here makes it louder and it sends the louder sound down the tube and um, into my ear through the ear mould and it's um, the ear mould is like made specifically for the shape of my ear so um, it like holds the sound in so um, it doesn't whistle because sometimes if the sound comes out and then goes back in the microphone you get a whistling noise um, mine still whistle a bit but obviously having the like customised ear mould helps this isn't the only style of hearing aids that are available there are lots of different types so um, you might see some with hearing aids that look different to this, but um, this is like one time. 
um, and there's a battery which is what gives it the um, power. Um, I've disconnected the battery so it's not like whistling on the video. Um, so you just connect the battery and put it on your ear and it makes sounds louder um, and that's kind of pretty much all there is to it. Um, an audiologist like tunes it up so it's like right for your hearing loss. Um, but yeah, you don't have to have any surgery or anything. So um, that's what hearing aids do. What I can hear with hearing aids, um, basically how they work, um, it's the middle line on the graph. Um, it's hearing aids can provide, according to the audiologist, around 40 decibels of um, amplification in the middle and lower frequencies of sound. So that means I can hear sounds around 50 decibels with my hearing aids in the lower and middle frequencies, but it needs to be louder for me to hear it in the higher frequencies. This means I can hear a lot of like vowel sounds of speech, but I can't really hear any consonants. Things like S's and T's are completely silent to me. Um, and that means speech is very difficult to understand, even with a hearing aid. Um, it just sounds like kind of mumbly noises. I can also hear some like environmental noise with it, um, which is good. Um, but, you know, it's it's still very limited what I can hear with a hearing aid. Um, the line on the graph um, that, that the audiologist has done is just kind of an estimation um, of like what she would guess based on my hearing loss. You haven't actually like test, done like an audiogram with my hearing aids but it's about right for what like I know. It, it looks right for what I know I can hear so I can just hear some of the like louder speech sounds but I'm missing quite a lot. Um, then what I can hear with a cochlear implant um, I so with a cochlear implant, how it works is very, very different from a hearing aid. So both hearing aids and cochlear implants um, are used to help people with limited hearing hear more, um, but they work in very, very different ways. With a cochlear implant, you have to have a surgery, um, which I had um, on the 13th of October, so exactly a month ago today. Um, uh, I So they, in the surgery, you have... Um, coil that like a receiver they put in your head and that has a magnet on and um it has a wire coming off it that goes through your inner ear i'll put a picture of like the x-ray of what it looks like in my head um up on the screen so you can have a you can have a look if you'd like um yeah so it kind of goes through the inner ear and how that works is, um, in my case, my hearing loss is caused by damage to the hair cells in the cochlea, which is um, one of the more common um, causes of hearing loss. So cochlear implants can work for a lot of deaf people, but there are, all, you know, it depends on the type of hearing loss, whether you have a cochlear implant or a different type of audio auditory implant or um, whether implants won't work for you. Um, it just depends on the person. So not everyone can get a cochlear implant, but I can. So um, you've got electrodes through the cochlea and those electrodes take the place of the damaged hair cells and um, an electrical impulse goes through the electrodes and it stimulates your hearing nerve, the auditory nerve, and it um, basically kind of tricks your brain into thinking that you're hearing sound um, when you're kind of not. <laughs> um, so it's not using your residual hearing. Um, it's not actually producing a sound, like it's not making sounds louder. It's changing the sound into an electrical impulse and using that to stimulate the nerves um, to kind of create the sensation of a sound. Um, so, on, so you've got that bit inside and then the way it does it converts the sound into electrical signal is you wear on your ear um a processor um and i'll show you how it is when it's on so you have a thing there there are like multiple different styles of these there are some where the whole thing is on your head um and some like i've got where you've got a piece on your on your ear and a piece on your head um it's just you know it depends on which one you've got um 
basically um, I wear a thing on my ear um, with microphones on um, and a battery and and the microphones pick up the sound it processes the sound sends it along this wire and um, sends them to the internal implant through um, this basically mag magnetic um, coil on my head. So I'll take this off for you to show you. Um, I've got a thing on mine just to keep hold it onto my ear better, but um, you know that's just kind of. No, I, sometimes so a lot of these look a bit different, so this isn't how every single one looks. Um, so this is the bit that sticks onto my head. Um, it's just a magnet. Um, the microphones are on the top there. That flashing light just means it's not connected to the processor. Um, and then this bit is the battery and I can just take this on and off and it's rechargeable. So I just recharge that overnight. Um, yeah. The thing about the sound that you can hear with a cochlear implant is that um, it's not the same as um, natural sound. Um, basically you don't have the full variation of frequencies because um, with normal hearing, well, I'll say I don't have normal hearing, but um, yeah, if you have normal hearing, you've got thousands and thousands of cochlear hair cells, which can like pick up all the different frequencies of sound. With a cochlear implant, I have 22 electrodes. Um, there are like different numbers depending on the make and model that you've got. I've got 22, um, some are like 25, some are 20, it just depends. And that's kind of, each of those electrodes corresponds to a different frequency. So I can kind of only hear 22 distinct frequencies of sound. Um, also, um, I can hear higher pitches with this a lot more than I can hear lower pitches. Um, so everything sounds very high pitched. Um, it sounds and kind of distorted um, and like robotic. So it sounds basically like a higher pitched Dalek um, from Doctor Who or, you know, like those children's toy, like voice changer things that you'd like speak into and record your voice and it would like make it into a weird like alien sound. It sounds exactly like that. Um, a lot of people, like a lot of things in the like no one can replicate the exact sound of a cochlear implant, um, which makes it sound really, really mysterious. But it's not like, I don't feel like it's like, wow, this is like nothing I've ever heard before. It just sounds like a higher pitched Dalek <laughs> or like, um, yeah, it just sounds kind of like alieny and um, robotic and like there's not very much variation in frequencies. Um, but speech is quite clear and I can hear very quiet sounds with this cochlear implant. Um, on the graph, um, it, at the top line, so with um, a cochlear implant, I can hear sounds around 30 to 40 decibels. And this means I can hear pretty much all speech sounds with it. Um, I can hear a lot of environmental sounds with it. Um, the issue is, so even though like, it looks on, on a graph like, wow, that's like virtually perfect, you can hear everything. And um, when I was doing the kind of hearing test with it, like to see the volumes of the beeps I could hear, I could hear really, really quiet beeps. Like my mum was in the room with me and she said, you know, you you could hear like really, really quiet beeps. Like she, she could, apparently I only missed a couple of beeps that she could hear and they were literally like a whisper that I could hear. But if you, I can hear like a whisper through this. However, it's not the same as someone who just has like a very mild hearing loss um, because I only have those 22 electrodes. So there's less kind of information in the sound um, so even though I can hear a very quiet sound, there's not a lot of variations between the sounds that I can hear. So everything kind of sounds a little bit the same. Um, which, when I'm speaking one-on-one -on -one with someone, I feel like I can hear absolutely everything. But if there's any background noise or um, different people are talking, 
I um, firstly I can't tell different voices apart at all like um, yeah so I, I might in the future once I've got more used to it I might be able to hear more with it and I'll keep everyone updated um, but at the moment like a man's voice and a woman's voice sound pretty much the same to me um, or like just different people's voices I can't hear like accents or anything um, but yeah so I can hear that um, I also can't tell a lot of background noise and speech sounds quite similar so if someone's talking and there's like a phone ringing or something I won't be able to tell what's the person's voice and what's the phone ringing necessarily like if it was just one or the other I would know but when they're at the same time it's very difficult to, pick, to kind of tell the difference between what's what um, yeah, so I think that kind of sums up what I can hear with it um, with regards to speech. Um, if you have any more questions, put it in the comments. With regards to music, I thought I'd just put this bit at the end um, because it's kind of difficult to explain. Um, with Obviously, without anything, um, I can't hear any music. Um, I mean, unless it was someone was playing music really really loud I wouldn't hear anything um, with a hearing aid I can kind of hear the vague like beat of the music if there's no background noise and I can kind of maybe hear that there's something higher pitched above the beat but I can't tell like I I can't tell like when a singer comes in I can't tell like any instruments apart um, at all like it's it's very very it's literally just like a very faint beat um, with a cochlear implant I can hear the beat very very clearly um, and I can completely tell when the singer comes in if I know the words to the song I can follow along like I know when they're saying each word if I didn't know the words of the song I wouldn't be able to just listen to it and like know it but if I've if I have got the words there I can like I can follow it follow along um I can't really necessarily hear the tune very well um like someone singing doesn't really sound any different to someone talking um but I can hear there's a voice I can hear there are different instruments um I can kind of hear the tune a little bit but it's not like I wouldn't be able to tell the exact like notes I would just kind of know like okay it goes like up a bit it goes down a bit you know like that's kind of the level I can hear um, like I can tell a very low note from a very high note um, but yeah that's kind of what I can hear um, please let me know if there's anything I haven't completely answered um, in the comments because I'm sure like a lot of people might have specific questions that I haven't thought of um, but yeah that's pretty much what I can hear at the moment um, I feel I'm very glad I've got a cochlear implant I can already hear a lot more than I could with a hearing aid and for me I definitely feel like it was the right decision um, a lot of people um, it takes a lot longer for them to be able to hear with a cochlear implant so um, just because this is what I can hear like a week after having it switched on doesn't mean that this is what someone else will be able to hear a week after it being switched on so just bear that in mind um, the same as with a hearing aid um, pe people can hear different amounts so this is very specific to me um, so please don't generalize um, between what other people you know between other people you know um, but yes thank you very much for watching um, goodbye